All right, and now we're gonna go over our favorite way to combine two wires together. Uh, this is just a good old fashioned solder. This is the way that we do it in the shop. Every time two wires need to be combined, uh, just because it provides a good quality mechanical seat, uh, connection between these wires is gonna be strong. Um, and then we can also do, use different types of heat shrink to provide different types of weather resistance, depending on what's going on. Um, if you're doing this on the bike, not off the bike like this, you're gonna to wanna to remember to put the heat shrink on before you combine the wires so that way you can slide it on after. Obviously this isn't on a bike, so we're not gonna to have to worry about that just this time. So we wanna strip a certain amount of wire, doesn't matter how much, uh, kinda of depends on how much extra wire you have on whatever you're trying to combine. Uh, you just wanna equal amount of both. Uh, and again, we're gonna physically combine these two and push them in together. Uh, you can spread them out, whatever you want, and they're gonna kinda of fan out like that. And then what we're gonna do is grab both sides and counter rotate them to create a little physical bond between these two. So you'll see that the, the ones that are on my right hand are rotating forward and the ones that are on my left hand are rotating backwards. That way, when everything's on there, it actually has a little bit of physical bond between the two. And when we solder, we like to do everything separate. Uh, they do sell solder that has flux in it. We find it's not as reliable and not as accurate and provides more uh, resistance in the wiring than proper electrical solder with separate flux. So we're gonna take a little bit of flux. We're gonna dab it on that joint, just a little bit. And then we're gonna take our soldering iron with our electrical solder and we're gonna put a little bit of electrical solder on our soldering iron, just a little bit. And then we're gonna set this under the joint and we're gonna let that heat up the whole joint from the bottom side. Might have to add a little bit. And then we're gonna put our solder on the top. And once the solder melts on the top, you know the whole joint is heated up and then it's sucking that solder all the way through those wires. And every strand in there is now bonded to every other strand. Um, you can tell it has a nice little sheen uh, all around all the wires. That means that the solder is completely penetrated. And the nice thing about these too is, if you look from a side profile, the wire really doesn't gain that much thickness on here. So for handlebar jobs, wiring, fitting things through things, whatever, this is the best way to go about it because it doesn't add a ton of thickness. Um, and then we have two different options for heat shrink. You have a plain old regular heat shrink. This is just regular heat shrink. This, I think this is three to one. They make two to one, they make clear, they make colors, whatever you want. And then you have adhesive heat shrink. So this is a weather tight heat shrink. So we'll, we'll put this weather tight heat shrink on here and we'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and kick our heat gun on. So if you look at the ends of this weather, uh, this weather tight heat shrink, you can see a little clear seal. Uh, that's the adhesive that's in there that's providing a weather tight seal on this joint. So now this joint is stronger than the initial wires. Uh, you're more likely to break this wire somewhere else than where we combined it. Very tough, very minimally bigger than the actual wire. So again, wiring through handlebars, through whatever you're wiring it through, not a big deal. Um, and, and honestly, the best way to combine it. And then this is that one that we came, we did earlier, uh, just to show you. It does have a nice tight seal um, bond and it is sealed. So we feel that these uh, are better than the butt connectors. Obviously the butt connectors are pretty much available everywhere. These, this is what we all carry now in our ride bags uh, to do uh, wire repairs on the road because you can do this with a lighter on the side of the road just to combine two wires. But um, just wanted to give you all a quick overlook at how to combine two wires. Uh, thanks for tuning in to this week's tech tip on Torque Performance Television. Make sure to check us out on Instagram at Texas Performance MC and check out Torque Performance Television at Torque Mag USA. We'll see y'all next week, Thursday at 9 p.m.